And tonight, on the eve of his sentencing on federal corruption charges, the longtime assistant to former Cleveland City Councilman Ken Johnson says he's ready for whatever sentence he receives. Garnell Jamison and former Councilman Keith Johnson were convicted of stealing more than $100,000 in federal monies. And tonight, in an interview you'll only see on News 5, Jamison is speaking publicly for the first time since his conviction. Five on your side investigator Scott Knoll has more. For 40 years, Kenneth Johnson represented the Buckeye Shaker neighborhood on Cleveland City Council. Tomorrow, Johnson and his longtime council assistant, Garnell Jamison, will stand before a federal judge, each facing the possibility of years in prison. As he mowed the grass outside his Ward 4 home, Garnell Jamison says he's at peace. The system worked, you know, and I'm going through the process and uh, my peers found me, you know, guilty, so I'm a stand up to it. Jamison convicted of 11 federal charges, including that he and former city councilman Kenneth Johnson worked together to steer federal money intended to help Ward 4 into bank accounts controlled by Johnson. Jamison reluctant to talk about specifics of the case, but in a court filing, his attorney says the 62 year old maintains his innocence, writing the evidence established he recklessly followed Johnson's instructions. The longtime city council assistant says he still considers Johnson a friend and believes Ward 4 is better off because of their work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate all the help and support that you gave us over the years. People that prosecutors say the pair deprived of money meant to help residents. Writing past good deeds do not mitigate the defendant's actions and using funds intended for one of Cleveland's most vulnerable communities to enrich the man who is elected to represent the community. Johnson's attorneys asking the judge for leniency at Friday's sentencing, citing the 75 year old's age and claiming Johnson may be in the early stages of dementia. Among those writing to the judge in support of Johnson, former Cleveland City Councilman George Forbes, who called Johnson a tireless and dedicated public servant and describing his contribution to the city as monumental and not easily duplicated. Prosecutors are asking the judge to send the longtime councilman to prison for at least nine years and Jameson at least six. On the eve of that sentencing, Jameson with this message to those who say he's just another example of corruption in Cleveland and Cuyahoga County. I'm out the way, I'm gone, I'm through. Uncle, I'm crying uncle. <laughs> in Cleveland's Buckeye Shaker neighborhood, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Scott Knoll.